How's it going to load on the shooter? This is Mike here. Uh, this is what I uh, bought four years ago. This is the M1 Durand. I bought it off of my, uh, a good friend of mine for $550 and it came with uh, 380 30-06 uh, rounds. Uh, I, I took this out today and it was actually pretty, uh, pretty fun shooting this thing again and shooting iron sights. Um, it's really, it really is a fun gun. I reload so 30-06 rounds is not as expensive. I was buying off from the uh, from Walmart and whatnot. So uh, when I got this and doing some reloads, uh, I did my work upload and I actually bought the um, the base for the scope that was mounted on here uh, when I was um, working up the loads to get the most accurate rounds out of this thing. So by doing that, I heard a lot of people having some uh, upright problem with um, factory ammunition and hot loads, which is the hunting 30 out six rounds. Uh, compared to the uh, M2 ball. So what I did is I purchased a uh, adjustable uh, gas plug which uh, can release a little bit of the, the gas, ex excess gas, so I'm not uh, destroying any uh, parts and whatnot. Out at the uh, Boulder City Rifle and Pistol Club in Boulder City, Nevada. And this target right here is 980 yards. And I believe it's about 3 feet in diameter. I believe so. I'm not quite sure. But uh, I'm shooting at 155 grain. Oh, correction, 150 grain. Hornady, Hornady 150 grain with uh, candlers. And I believe I'm using 4895 on the powder and Winchester rifle primers. So this is actually my, I believe this is the, the fourth set that I fired and this is the best one I've had. I fired 155 grain and 168 grain, but it looks like 155 grain does pretty good on this rifle, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with 155 grain uh, from here on out. So that was actually uh, a hit, and then the second shot was another hit. Just landed about a foot on top of it from the top from the last shot. And then another hit right in between the two white marks there. So that's three in a row. It's really tough shooting out. And that's another hit, just right on the corner. It was it was really tough uh, shooting up on myself without a spotter because especially with a high wind like this, I mean even if it splashes so tiny at the 980 yards. I can barely see anything. Uh, after I dialed in the elevation, I just figure out, hey, you know, um, if I don't see any splash, that means it's a hit. And I'll, I, I waited until I got home, and I, I didn't even, I didn't even notice this last uh, group right here was actually pretty good. See that splash right there? That was a miss, but I can barely see the splash because it just, you know, the wind was blowing pretty hard, but. It's, I believe it's a, it's a good 15 mile per hour winds at some point with, with about at least steady 10 mile per hour winds. So this is actually, I, I, I've modified this video already uh, so it, it won't shake as much because the, the original video shakes so much it's, it's horrible. So anyway it was, it was fun so it's possible 980 yards. And uh, I really had fun shooting out there, even if it's really cold, really cold, cold, cold day today. So, y'all fun reloading and shooting out there? See y'all next time.